So in this video, I'm gonna share with you a few things that you need to know before moving to Chelsea and Manhattan. Now, Chelsea is a very, very hot neighborhood next to Hudson Yards, West Village, and the Meatpacking District. I mean, some people say the Meatpacking District is technically in Chelsea, but from a real estate agent perspective, it is considered two separate neighborhoods. Now, I would say that Chelsea is filled with a ton of really great restaurants and some ranging from like casual, trendy, but not really like a pretentious vibe, more like low key. I would say overall, the neighborhood is really a great place to like grab a drink with a friend. Like if you're looking to meet up with someone who lives in Midtown versus Downtown or something like that, Chelsea is a really great meeting spot for both of you. Now, the housing options really do vary in Chelsea if you look at the market as a whole. Now, townhomes and converted townhomes are very popular in the neighborhood. So you do have walk-up apartments there, but you also do have a lot of high-rise luxury buildings as well. And a good amount of new construction has been built up in the neighborhood over the past decade as well. I would say for the most part, I think that Chelsea has decent public transportation. In Chelsea, the subways run as far as 8th Avenue. So if you live west of 8th Avenue, you are gonna have to walk in to get a subway. So that is always gonna be the case for any neighborhood where someone lives all the way west or all the way east, you're always gonna have to come into more like the central part of the neighborhood. So I do tend to hear when people are moving all the way west, kind of closer to the Hudson River side. I do hear that complaint sometimes. Now, Chelsea is also a waterfront neighborhood, so you can easily walk to the Hudson River Park and walk along the water and see the view from there. Anybody who's watched any of my videos knows how much I love waterfront neighborhoods. I prefer them over landlocked neighborhoods just because I do think it's great to get some fresh air sometimes and get like a different scene. So I do really love the waterfront area in Chelsea. And also Chelsea's kind of known for being an art gallery neighborhood. And if you do spend some time walking around the neighborhood, you will see some art galleries around. The Whitney Museum of American Art also is in the neighborhood. That's probably the most famous museum in the neighborhood for art. So overall, that's just a few things that you need to know before moving to Chelsea. Now, there are some people that do work in Chelsea, but overall, you're gonna have a lot of people who are local in Chelsea or people visiting people that are local in Chelsea. You're not gonna have a ton of tourist attraction except for the overflow from either Hudson Yards, if you're in North Chelsea, or the overflow from people who are in the village or in the meatpacking district and primarily Chelsea market. So that's kind of where most of the tourist pockets are going to be around Chelsea. So overall, I hope that helped you figure out a couple things that you to know before moving to Chelsea in Manhattan. So if there's anything I missed in this video or any questions that I have, please feel free to leave them in the comments because as always, I love hearing from you guys.